Hello Year 6. My name is Wendy Birkbeck. Um, I work up at Liscard School. I'm one of the assistant head teachers there and one of my main jobs is to make sure um, that you have the transition from Year 6 to Year 7 um, really well and you come up to us knowing everything you need to know, um, fully ready to go and ready and excited to start in Year 7. So since I can't come out to your primary school at the moment to speak to you, I thought I'd put together just a little video about five six minutes long just answering some of the top questions that i get asked every single year so what i've got is a little presentation i just need to upload for you bear with me a second here we go you should see me in the bottom right hand corner yes there i am and there's my little presentation so here we go you received a postcard from me um, back in March saying hello um, and on the back there was my, my photograph um, and also a photograph of your head of year and your assistant head of year. Okay straight into the questions I get asked every single year. This first one is probably the biggest worry that people have about starting secondary school. Will I get lost? Now the answer to that question even though we are a very big school the answer to that question is probably no. And the reason for that is down to these guys. Here you will see pictures of students last year who applied to be peer mentors. And those people went through quite a strict interview process and they, they were people that really, really wanted to help last year's year seven really make a good start. And currently, right now, as I'm doing this video, there are lots of year eight students writing application forms to explain why they really would like to become your peer mentors. So the next video that I make, I'm going to show you some of the peer mentors that will be helping you this year. How will you know who they are? Well, here you can see, this is Luke, peer mentor from a few years ago. The peer mentors wear bright yellow jumpers and they are around at break times, lunch times. Uh, they're in the classrooms to help you. They're in tutor period to help you. And most importantly, to stop you getting lost, they are actually waiting for you outside of your classroom when you've finished your lesson. So here's a map of the school. So for example, say you had a lesson in science, the bell went, end of the lesson, and you had to get across the whole school to languages for your next lesson. A peer mentor in a bright yellow jumper would appear outside of your science lesson. They'll give you a big wave, and they will actually walk you across the school to your language lesson. And when you finish your language lesson, they'll appear again and take you to your next lesson. And slowly you'll find your own way around. If for any reason you do get lost, you'll better find somebody with a yellow jumper or a teacher and they'll be able to take you to your lesson. Teachers are really understanding in the first couple of weeks of school. If you're a little bit late, they understand you're finding your way around. So please do not worry about getting lost. Next question, who will help me? Well, you've already heard about the peer mentors. You've also got a tutor. Your tutor is the person that you will see every single day and they will answer any questions you've got or help you with absolutely anything that you need. Your tutor group become like a little family in school for you and you stay together as a tutor group with your tutor right the way up through the school. You've also got head of year who will do assemblies, track your progress, um, make sure you've got everything you need um, and be there for you, as well as an assistant head of year who isn't a teacher. So they will be around during the day, um, going around, checking up, making sure you're OK, answering any questions that you've got. Obviously, you've got teachers. Um, unlike primary school, where you maybe only have one or two teachers, you will find you've got a lot more teachers. So there are lots of people you can go and speak to during the day. If you've got trouble with your work, with your lessons, or you want to ask questions, your teachers are really good people to go and speak to. At lunchtime and break time, just like primary school, um, you will find lunchtime supervisors that you can go and, and ask questions um, or sort out anything that you need sorting out. Which tutor group will I be in? OK, this is a question I know is on the tip of everyone's tongue and you really are dying to know which tutor group you're in. I've been busily working on that 
I'm almost there. I'm almost ready to tell you um, which huge group you're in. Can I just say a big thank you to all of you that told me your friend's information and your teachers at school, your primary school teachers who told me a little bit about you and parents who, who've contacted me. So I'm putting all that together in a big jigsaw puzzle and I should be able to tell you very soon which of these huge groups you are in. Next question. Will I get to go on any trips? The answer to that, absolutely yes. We offer a huge variety of trips. Now, obviously, with what's happening at the minute with coronavirus, I'm not sure about the schedule for next year. So I'll tell you um, what we normally offer um, and hopefully we'll be able to offer the same sort of thing. The first one, our most important one, is Porth Pian. If you've got any siblings, any brothers or sisters or friends um, that go to Liscard School, they will be able to tell you lots about Porth Pian. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a three day residential where you get to stay in tents at the top left hand picture here. And you get to do all these different activities like high ropes, kayaking, um, a long blackhead walk, uh, team building games. And you stay with your tutor group and you stay actually with your tutor and you get to know everybody and make loads of friends. There are other trips throughout the year. So this is the year seven castles trip. There's a geography trip and there's a whole week of activities called challenge week at the end of the year where you can do everything from um, going to France or going to Spain to crafting in school, summer sports, mountain biking, you name it, there's something for everyone. So lots and lots of things to look forward to, guys. Clubs. We have a huge variety of clubs. I would challenge any year six student coming up to school not to be able to find a club that suits them. We've got everything. We've got astronomy club after school. You can become a science leader, get involved in green activities, become a language leader uh, on our school council. Sports. This is just the sports list for the autumn term, which changes every single term. Um, so you can see here, rugby, netball, hockey. We've got a full on fitness suite in school with rowing machines, running machines, um, weights. You name it, there's a club for everyone. Dodgeball table tennis. And then if you're more crafty, there's singing, knit and natter, orchestra, sad band, acoustic bands, drama club. Have a look here. These are some of the concerts and drama productions that the drama department put on. So you can audition and take part in those as well. What is the food like? Food, very important question. I do love my food. Um, eat every day in the canteen, really, really nice food. Um, here's just a selection here um, of drinks um, and pizzas and like all the things you can see on the screen there. We have a main meal every day, very much like primary school, um, but there's an awful lot of choice. Also, you, you're welcome to bring your packed lunch with you if you'd rather have a packed lunch than eat in the canteen. What do I need to wear? OK, school uniform. Here's a picture of the school uniform. Um, you can see they're looking very smart there. We are quite a stickler for school uniform to be worn correctly. Having things like leather, black shoes, no trainers, no pumps, shirts tucked in. These guys look extremely smart. And the same with the PE kit. When we go to other schools, everyone always comments how smart our PE kit looks. Um, and we are very good at sport and we win a lot. What are the lessons like? OK. Huge variety of lessons. You might come in in the morning and find you've got science. Then you might find you've got art or music or drama or technology. So it's very different to primary school. We don't have maths and English just in the morning and then topic in the afternoon. You come in and you have a whole variety of lessons right from the beginning of the day. And what I would say is that you get out of lessons what you put in. So the more effort you put in, the more you enjoy them um, and the better you progress and the better you do at that subject. <coughs> Where can I go at break and lunch? OK, as year seven students or new year seven students in September, you will, you will find you are very privileged at break and lunch. This hall is just for you. The canteen is just off to the left. This is known as the old hall. And only year seven students can go in to the old hall at break and lunch. So you're not surrounded by bigger students. It's just there for you. You've also got, this is the tennis courts just out the back. 
this whole big tennis court area just for year seven where you can play games, you can play football, um, run around, you know, it's your space. So that's great. Do I have to carry my bag around all day? Okay, some year sixes are quite worried about this because I expect you've heard that you have an exercise book for every lesson. So you might have, you know, seven or eight exercise books. You might have a PE kit, you might have a packed lunch box, water bottle, and you're walking quite a bit during the day. So lots of people are concerned about that. You do not have to carry your bag around all day. You can apply for one of these. So you can get your own personal locker um, and then you can keep your things in there. Um, and then um, that means you don't have to carry it with you. OK, so those are the top questions I get asked every year. I will do another video for you um, in a couple of weeks time where you will get to meet some of your peer mentors and I'll answer some more questions I know are really popular. Can I just say one more thing before I go? Have a look out shortly in the post. You'll be receiving a pack of information with this as the front cover. In that pack will be the answers to every question. But honestly, I could do like probably 20 videos. Um, but if you read that pack of information, you'll get to know everything you need to know. And your parents will get to know what they need to know as well in terms of where to order your uniform, what the school rules are, what times of the day, how many lessons you have in a day. All those things will be answered in that pack. Along with that pack, you will receive a letter telling you which tutor group you're in and who your tutor is. Okay, so thank you very much for listening. Bye from now. See you very soon.